Hello, and I've got a simple question. Are some people luckier than others or are some people unluckier than others? Like, is luck an actual thing that, you know, moulds the way in which we live our lives? Because I'm not sure. I mean, I lost my job last week due to the coronavirus, but how unlucky is that really? Because, I mean, 100,000 people signed on to get Job Seekers Allowance, which is, you know, help to be able to pay the bills and to be able to live from the government. In one day, 100,000 people, I think over a million people in the UK have signed on since the coronavirus. And that's just the people that are asking for help. So there are loads of people that have been made redundant. So really, out of the big grand scheme of things, am I more unlucky than other people? I don't know. But I really do struggle to get motivated to do things. So like job hunting, applying for jobs. I really struggle because I now, at the moment, I can't really get any jobs to do with the things that I like because they all involve being around people. And obviously that's the one thing you're not allowed to do at the moment. So I kind of, I suffer from like self-sabotage. I self-sabotage myself a lot. I'm like, I'll sit down all day, I don't know, watching endless episodes of Doctor Who, you know, in my head just going, go on, you know you need to do this. You know you need to get this stuff done. And that's like, that's like, I know everything I need to do, but I'm just still sat there like a freaking potato. And then last night, I finally figured out what I need to do to stop that. Basically, the end of it is just to be completely 100% honest to someone, which is my girlfriend, and just say, look, you know what I said? Oh, I've been looking at jobs or I've been applying for jobs. I haven't. Because I know what I need to do and I just need to get myself to do it. So today, I've woken up really motivated and this is where this question has come in of is being unlucky a thing because i woke up today half eight whoa just that's like some weird lighting effect just before i was blinded um i'd also set an alarm on my phone which interrupted this video being recorded and stopped it from being filmed is that unlucky i don't know <laughs> I can't quite remember what it was now. I was talking about luck. Yeah, so basically where this whole question's come from, are people more unlucky or people luckier than others, is the fact that I woke up today, my girlfriend found me at 8 o'clock, ripe and ready to go, to ready to like apply for these jobs, you know, just hit the day. I woke up and the power's gone out. Like, not tripped, like there's a power cut. So I phoned the electricity board, all that. Turns out there's 125 homes out, well, no, I think it was about 130 or something like that, without electricity due to a power cable underground. And they might not be able to get the problem solved till one or two o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, oh. And then they send you texts to keep you updated on the situation about when you can get your electricity back. I just got another text message. We've Good news, we've managed to restore power to 125 homes. We now only have six homes without power. Guess who one of those homes is? Me. Yes, it's me. One of them without power. But I'm trying to look, maybe luck is just a, a way you, in which you look at life. Yeah, yeah, I lost my job, but maybe, who knows, in a month's time, I can have the job of my dreams because I've lost the job that I have now. Or maybe it might be lucky, you know, the power's gone out, so I'm having to make a cup of tea the American way. I don't even know if that's the American. Americans don't even drink tea, but I'm having to boil water in a pan to make a cup of tea. But luckily, I bought pastry yesterday, so I can now have some cinnamon swells with my cup of tea. How lucky is that? It's like my luck knew that the power was gonna go out. I think it's just a matter of perspective. Like, that's what I think, good and bad luck. I mean, yeah, you could say, oh, you know, I was really unlucky that that man got hit by lightning. I mean, depends how you look at it, I suppose. I mean, that is really unlucky. I mean, how how is that not unlucky? He might be, well, if he'd stayed alive, he could have been kidnapped and tortured. Well, I guess he is lucky then. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm trying to look at things on the bright side because I'm not really that, you know, bad off, you know. I mean, I finally got a job that paid well. I lost that, and now I'm using that money that I've saved up, luckily, to pay the bills. I don't know. I think, <laughs> I don't, I think, like, with luck, especially if you look, watch a lot of interviews of, like, famous people, people who do well, and they're asked the question of luck, I think they also, yeah, they think luck is a thing, but it's more, <clears throat> the way you need to be successful is, you know, try as hard as you can. Success is about trying as hard as you can and never giving up, and a tiny bit of luck, because, 
a lot of the times it's just meeting that one person who knows a person who knows a person that can get you in somewhere or just something like that which you could say is a bit of luck that you met someone i think you just need to go at life and just try and do your best i mean like i said i might do a video on how i've tried if this works like i feel like i finally know how to stop myself from self-sabotage and that's just be completely honest to someone who means something to me and not lie and then not get that person to be really pushy, just to listen and then just to be, okay, what do you need to do? Okay, well, let's start that now. Because that is, at the end of the day, I just, for years I've done this. I like, I woke up late or I was just, I woke up early before my alarm was meant to go off and I've just gone, oh, well, I'm not going to get as much sleep as I thought I would now. So I'm now going to, I'm going to go to bed for a little bit and then try and catch up on that sleep that I've lost from being a, like awake now before my alarm's gone off and then I end up oversleeping until like 11, 12 o'clock. I don't know if any other people are in the same boat as me, but that's kind of what I do. And that's the gist of things, but I'm, my tea's bubbling away. Do you think there's such things of like actual, obviously there, I think there's things of bad luck and good luck, but do you think people have certain amounts of good and bad luck within them? Because I think it is all a mindset. You know, if bad things happen, you're attributing them, oh, I'm always, full of bad luck but you never notice the good things if you're not in that mindset whereas if you're in a good mindset you know in the situation I've been in it's like I've got a really good job I didn't like that job at all and now I don't have that job well you didn't like that job so don't be sad that you lost that job oh but it paid well well luckily you managed to save up a tiny bit of rent so you now have a month to be able to try and get jobs you want but now I can look at about like oh but none of the jobs that I want are out there because of coronavirus well you can email people you can do things the old-fashioned way you know try and make yourself stand out there's i think the world is just a perspective and i think you being luckier or unluckier than someone is just a matter of how you look at your life whether you notice the good things within your life or the bad things i'm just thinking you just need to take a step back and you know be like, find someone you can just be really honest to and tell them what you want to do. And you know what you need to do. And then just say, I need to do this. And I'm going to, now I'm on the phone to you. I'm going to go do this. As soon as I'm hung up, I'm going to start this. And just try and get your true self to come out. That's all I think it is. If I'm honest, I'm saying this, my roof might collapse in after this video. <laughs> but yeah, I, you comment below, what do you think? That's all I've got to say on the matter. So I'm going to go and have my cinnamon pastry swirls with my cup of tea that's been boiled in a pan. It's probably gonna be very lime scaly. But hey, at least I have gas and not electricity. I wouldn't even be able to have a shitty cup of tea right now. I would be having tap water with a tea bag in. So that's, that's pretty good luck, isn't it? That I bought a flat with a gas hob because I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Bye.